Hi, I'm Greg, your car angel. In this video, I want to show you how to change a cabin air filter in a Toyota Highlander. Now, most cars are very similar, especially of the Toyota line, so this would apply to just about any car. Now, a cabin air filter is responsible for keeping the interior air of your car clean. It's the air you breathe, so you want it to be clean. The air filters are cheap, and they're pretty easy to replace, as I'll show you. So, the first thing you want to do is open up your glove compartment and take anything out. Because if you don't take it out, it's all going to come tumbling out at a later point. Now, there's going to be two tabs, one on the right and one on the left, that you're going to have to kind of pull. And it's not going to seem like it's an easy process, but don't worry. There's the tab on this side, and you have another tab very similar to that side. And I'll go through that process once again. It, you got to kind of pull it, push it in, and then it'll dump out, right? So now, what that does is it exposes down here a panel, and you can see that this panel lid is off, and behind there is the actual cartridge for the air filter. Now this is just incredibly filthy. In fact, it looks like uh, a mouse might have even eaten a little bit of the fabric there. So this is really the air that you're breathing is passing through this air filter and this is why you want to keep it clean. So we're going to go ahead and replace this with a new filter, put it in here, put it back into the insert and reinstall it so that the air is clean in this car to breathe. So you're going to pop this out, all right, and you're going to get your new cabin air filter. And again, these are relatively cheap at your any auto parts store you can get them. You don't have to get them at uh, the dealerships. Okay, so they came in these little tabs. You just fit the flanges underneath the little tabs. They're all pretty much similar. Now you'll have this small. Uh, tab here that's your pull and your push tab and you're going to go ahead and insert that back into the hole okay into the slot okay and now you have the the panel that sits on the front of that and on that panel you have these two tabs here okay this tab and this tab they go in the up position and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put that back in there until you feel that it's snug. Now, it, it's not a difficult job to get that in there. You just have to make sure that those two tabs are uh, securely seated on the interior of that cartridge. And that's nice and secure. Now, when, you, when it comes time to putting that glove box back in, you simply push on the sides so this is out and this is in very easy out and you don't have to be afraid of it okay so that's it I'm Greg your car ranger I'll see you in the next video take care